Hello again and welcome back. Just got a Wonders World. Fat Ugly One's back with another one of his beer reviews. Fat Man sits in the shed talking about the beer. <laughs> what was that? Currently drinking type video. And there's been some new beer drop. There's been a new three new beer drops into the three of the major supermarkets. Sainsbury's came first. Morrison's followed suit not long after and then tesco dropped in was it last week all a bit hit and miss as well so if you're trying to find these beers that that we show you or i show you bear with them because the tesco drop's been a bit erratic i know the morrison's the one i usually use up on the a3 hasn't got any of the new stuff i'm lucky i work in a fairly broad catchment area um hampshire berkshire so i can pop into these places and pick pieces up now in the new tesco range there's been some good stuff there's been some okay stuff in the as with all of the the beer drops they've all been a bit hit and miss in all honesty but there was one beer that i was actually looking to pick up held fire on it because i was about to pick it up when i received a message on our instagram account on instagram obviously won't be on anything else with it uh from ellie the social media manager from north brewing company up in leeds up in uh, in um up in yorkshire saying would they would we like them to send a box of automatic their brand new california pale ale which i believe is part <coughs> their newest part of their core range so i replied back saying very much like to receive a box of this because i was looking to pick it up anyway um north brewing company i've always thought they're a very solid brewery to be fair um lost cosmonauts back in the day although it's changed a little bit um was a, a fantastic beer ultra phase which is in asda at the moment is very good i think transmission if that's still about that was very good as well so i've had some tremendous north brewing company beers over the years um Hugo's knocked, <laughs> Wonders knocked Hugo out. If you can hear him howling, that's probably what that is. So, yeah, they've sent us a box, brand new into Tesco. I think it's about £6 a box, and it's their automatic California Pale Um They've also sent us a very nice little glass. I've washed it out. This has been in the fridge as well, so it's chilled down. A couple of little coasters, which are always welcome, and a little book with bits and pieces about just a little book really their story from so 1997 till today more beer people supporting others looking after each other making friends uh from them to everyone for you first dates last orders hard at work collaborations yeah nice little booklet on the match day so yeah so i was looking to pick this one up only anyway and they've kindly sent me a box so to prove that here's said box still gonna be honest about it though just because you're sending me beer still gotta be honest and it says on the side so it's four and a half percent abv so it's a a session pale ale zesty and juicy american hops sing with tropical notes of pineapple zesty grapefruit and juicy peach with a gentle piney bitterness that leaves you wanting more. I'm hoping for a slightly west coast pale would be absolutely tremendous. So what's it going to be like? You're asking Scott. I don't know because I haven't tried it yet. So in my new little north glass, which is tremendous. Thank you very much. Automatic. 4.5% pale. Ingredients. I haven't got the glasses. Ah, malted uh, water, barley, wheat, hops and yeast. Good stuff. Right, let's get out and see if it's any good. North Brewing Company, Ellie, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Well, I was getting anything these days. I heard someone was slagging me off to the brewery trade. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
in the glass. Very hazy. Light straw, hazy colour. Looks nice actually in the glass. Two finger of very white head. I'm hoping this could be slight, say slightly west coast. Smells very juicy. Very hoppy. So you're getting a pineapple, pineapple chunks coming out. A huge aroma. There is a bit of grapefruit sitting behind that and some some citrus notes as well. That smells really nice. Cheers. So it's in Tesco now, box. I think it's about it's over six pounds, six pounds fifty a box. I'll clarify that and put it in the um the description below. Very gentle, actually. Gentle in the mouth. You haven't got the West Coast bitterness. There is a little bit of pine coming through from that. That I wasn't getting on the aroma. But very soft, very soft in the mouth. There's a nice little hot prickle in there. You get that um, that pineapple and grapefruit. There is a little bit of pine coming through at the end. It's not raging with flavour, but what it does do is it's very refreshing. It's a very refreshing pale ale. Obviously, because it's a pale ale, you're not it's, you're not going to get that bitterness from that you would expect from an IPA. But it's it's very delicate. It's a very delicate parallel, actually. And if it's part of their core range, I can understand why. I don't know what their core beers would be these days. I know, I know Lost Cosmonauts has that just gone into um, Morrison's as a single cow? Because for a long time, you could only get Lost Cosmonauts as a four, 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 forty mils in Tesco. Um, there is a nice pine resin on the back end of that that sits there for a little while. Um, yeah, so they've launched Lost Cosmonauts in there. I don't know if Lost Cosmonauts is part of their core range. I, I used to like a couple of cans here. Pinata with a nice beer. Sputnik, which I've got as well. Sputnik was an absolute cracking pile out. I don't know this, if this is taking over from Sputnik, um, but it's a nice, it's a very nice, gentle, easy going pale ale. Is it the best pale ale I've ever had? No. Is it the worst? No. I measure my pale ales against things like Steady Rolling Man, um, Sierra Nevada pale ale, it's not in that league, but what it is, what it is doing, it's doing very well for my palate. If I'd have bought that, I would I would I've said exactly the same. Refreshing, easy drinking, juicy palate from North Automatic, four point five percent California parallel. Now in Tesco, don't think you can go wrong. It's all right. It's nice. If it, it, it's all going to be, it's going to depend if you want a four pack of anything. Um, I tend to these days not want to buy a four pack unless I've actually tried to say I was going to pick this up because uh, I like North anyway, and I like I like the sound. I thought it was going to be slightly more West Coast than it is, but it's a nice bit. Um, if you've tried automatic, leave me in the comments in the comments box. If you haven't, and you fancy a four pack of something, then you're going to do worse and pick that up. Um, if, leave a comment anyway if you like North. What, what's your favourite North beer? Um, I'm going to give automatic a very solid thumbs up.
because I think in a, on a hot day, if that would do the job quite nicely. So, if you like this video, um, go and check out North's um, Instagram. If they've got Twitter, check out their website. I'll put all the links in the in the box below. Um, if you like this video, get a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button over there somewhere. If you want to see you soon. Have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.